So the design of the space was based on this super long hallway and wanting to take advantage of it. This is my first time in a railroad style apartment like this with this long hallway and I wanted to see what I could do to maximize the light, maximize the space, and still give off that minimalist style. The entryway that I've been teasing a lot. A little bit. Okay, well, I'm excited to show it to you. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shereen. I'm an interior designer here in New York City and this is part two of my entryway design. Thank you for joining me. You can find me on Instagram at Green Shereen. I talk a little bit there about design and offering tips and other solutions and I would love to have you there as well. We are going to get into what it looked like before, a good old-fashioned makeover, uh, talking through exactly what I did during that makeover and lastly we will get into what it looks like and what I think are the fundamental needs in an entryway especially now during these times. Some elements that I felt were really important to repeat I really like to play with textures, I like to play with colors, and I like to play with shapes. And so we have some round things, some circular things that's offset by some of the square and rectangular things on the floor. Um, even the vase in the corner that I selected is something that is of a square shape. So you have some of your squares on the bottom and then you have some of your rounded pieces up top which brings your eye up. My rule with styling the console table is really just to have something horizontal, something vertical, something structural. And then aside from that, I wanna make sure everything's functional. So we also keep a nice container with our hand sanitizer in it so that people who come in or out or maybe they're just sitting at your door talking for a minute can sanitize if they're not necessarily coming into your home to wash their hands, but having that readily accessible. And then I really love having a place for everything. Once you have a place for everything, you know where it is and you know when something is missing. It's really, really easy for you to identify that, hey, I didn't take my keys today because you can see them sitting in the key jar. Really trying to maximize the fact that there isn't necessarily a ton of space in the hallway. And so I like to have elements that can open and close and move out of the way. So in this space, we have some of our coat hooks. We have about 13 inches between the wall and this inset here. And so I selected this coat hook from Ombra specifically because it has these pull down handles. So you can open it up when you need it and you can also push it aside and get it out of the way when you don't need it anymore. And it works really well. Beneath it I have a second one which is the perfect height for my daughter so that she can access this and put her bag when she comes into the space. They're also really nice and sturdy. They're supported onto the wall with anchors. And so when my husband puts his work bag on here and things of that nature, we don't have problems with it at all. Quick shout out to my handyman who did a lot of work here, but particularly we used this laser level to ensure that both of the mirrors were hung at the exact same height. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Thanks to wallpaper today. We're using this from Wallpops. This is new wallpaper. And it's a grass cloth, which I love. We're gonna see how it goes. I have my blade, my level, my wallpaper smoother, and my actual wallpaper. I'm excited. I like a more clean and seamless look, and so I use these Lutron wall plates that don't have any visible screws in order to cover any of the outlet covers in our home. This just makes things a look a little bit more minimalist and in my opinion I think it's a lot cleaner. So I changed them. This is the one near our kitchen but I changed all in our home. Always doing two things at once. Currently listening to IG Live. Uh, 
Uh, Casa Marcelo is talking to tape makers about living with children and designing with children. And I'm gonna get this run around. So here we go. catch me sitting down our carpet tiles so instead of going with the traditional runner I decided to use carpet tiles in our hallway because of the way that it turns kind of in the middle that way I can make sure that I laid it the way that I wanted to these are from floor they're amazing they just have a small sticker adhesive so after measuring precisely and laying them out you can adhere them to the floor very easily and this is what the final product looks like and I love my floor carpet tiles Pendant lights are from Lamps Plus, and I love how the oval mimic the pattern in the mirror. It just helps carry the light more down the hallway. And the importance, this is a first impression. You've got to make a solid impression when people come into your home. But you also need some practical things. You need a space to put your keys because you're going to be going in and out. You need a space to put your bags or purses or whatever your everyday carry items are. You need space for your children and any other people in the home to feel comfortable and you'll notice that I've done something with my shelves in order to make sure that our daughter feels comfortable and has where to put her things as well. I do have the drop zone that I talked about in my declutter video. If you missed that video, you can check that one out over here. I'll link it wherever those links go and you'll be able to see. And I also have a space for masks. You've seen in my Clean With Me video that we wash our masks obviously regularly. It's very important and you should be doing that. But also incorporating that as a new thing in your entryway where you didn't have to have that before pre-COVID. But now I have a space for all of our clean masks. And as we come in and out of the home, we're able to grab clean ones on the way out. We're able to grab clean ones if we're just answering the door and the delivery person is coming. If you have one of those UV sanitizers or sterilizing wands, that's also something that you want to keep in your entryway as you have packages come in. It's great to sanitize those when you have your shoes come in and you leave maybe the few pairs of shoes that you're wearing on a regular basis at the door. You can give those a quick sanitize and go from there. I'm a firm believer of no shoes in the house and I also really like having booties available so that when workers come in, they can put booties on in case they want to give any kind of issues with taking their shoes off and they come into our home. This little work of art is my Yamazaki umbrella stand. Another fundamental that you want to have in your entryway is a place for umbrellas. And this guy is a metal piece. I absolutely love it. I really appreciate the juxtaposition of the modern style and the contemporary style that the floor tiles bring. And then they're offset by this more rustic, warm um, console, which is from Studio McGee from Target. Another note on just child proofing and safety is this console is actually secured to the wall. We just bought regular brackets instead of using the ones they came with. It just makes sure that any of the heavier pieces that are on here won't topple over and fall should you place some things on there. So thank you for hanging out with me and getting to see all of my hard work and manual labor. No, I'm kidding. Thanks to everyone else involved. I'm very grateful to have them to help with this project. I am not the DIY girl, so it is what it is. I am not the DIY girl, but I do think that there are certain things that we should do as designers and get experience with. We should be able to see how things wear over time so that we can actually make sound recommendations when we're talking about products that we want you to use in your homes, in your businesses, and in your spaces. I have to say this wallpaper is something that I am in love with. I have wanted this grass cloth for a minute and I'm excited that I found a way to do it and I also have some other clients that are gonna be putting it into their home and I can give them a legit recommendation because I'm having the same experience here. I can also tell them that it's possible for them to DIY a little bit if they wanna save some of their coin.
Thank you for joining today. You could have been anywhere on YouTube, but you chose to be with me and I appreciate that. I'm so thankful for you and we'll chat soon. Bye.